Hi everyone, this is Terrence Tucker, Terry T 1976, giving you a brand new update on my Quadraphonic LP collection. This has been a long time in the making and it's been seen a lot of changes since the last time we I um, uploaded a video regarding my LP um, Quad LP collection. A lot of changes, a lot of changes. But today I'm going to give you a brand new a new update with some old favorites and as well as some new additions. To start things off, let's just let me show you my equipment here. Okay, this is a Fisher, I'm not sure if you can see it. It's my Fisher 480 four channel receiver. It's got um non working A track player, which I don't have any A track quad A track tapes or any one in that in particular and it's got a built-in SQ decoder but the logic is not even worth talking about it's low logic it's got AM FM, AM, FM stereo and inputs for for phonograph auxiliary for like a four channel well you'll see it in a moment now I have the I have the Sony SQD 1000 when I years ago however that that logic was no logic so I upgraded was gifted with an upgrade you'll see here we are the Sony SQD 2020 one of the first full logic SQ decoders from Sony the next ones up are the 2010 and the 2070 you've got the functions here the SQ SQ in the middle, you've got two to four. It takes two channels to four. You have the RT matrix, which is supposedly for your QS records and such. You can still, on Q on SQ and QS and real matrix, you can play your stereo, regular stereo records and to make them sound much better than, than two channels. And you have the discrete, that's for for like your tape for your four channel tape recorders or your CD4 demodulator right here. This is the JVC 4DD5 disc demodulator, which I'll ex explain in a moment. I don't my TTUSB based on what a video I saw recently on YouTube, where you're using the Group Two cartridge can act actually works well with a CD4. I'm not sure about the case of the JVC 4DD.5, um, but it but it takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of patience. What I do need is to find one of those um, disc the model the modulator um, adjustment records if you can find them nowadays. Now let's get on to let's get on to business here. We have the Dynaco four-dimensional stereo disc. This is a Vanguard record. This is from Vanguard Recording Society, and it's like a it's a one of those. It's one of their first attempts of a quad. It's one of their um, one of their cop um their sample sampler albums. Uh, it's got artists like Perry and um, Jean Jacques Perry, the composer of Baroque Hoedown with Gershon Kingsley. And it's got sound effects like a steam engine. It's got Buffy St. Marie doing the Angel. Ian and Sylvia doing the Circle Game. And for rock music, you've got Country Joe and the Fish doing Crystal Blues. That's on the popular side, side one. Oh, by the way, Perry, um, Jean-Jacques Perry plays the Fly the Bumblebee, the Sound of the Moog. You can play this in stereo or with those Dynaco decoders. Sounds great on um. Sounds great on in SQ and also W Pro Logic Two in music mode. And now, now I go on to the CD fours. Here's the first one I well not the first one but this is the Warner Electra Atlantic series with the um. So. It actually wasn't meant for sale, it's for d demonstration, but it's got some pop music plus some adjustments which I use for the um, JVC disc demodulator. 
It's got Aretha Franklin performing rock steady. It's got um side one's got her. It has um Brad doing Mother Freedom and it's got a track from the Dudies Brothers and be looking the back here. Star Drive featuring Bob Mason doing rushes. Side two features Carly Simon, the spinners, Arlo Guthrie, a classic hit by and two classic hits by Seals and Croft, Diamond Girl, mixed in C D four, and the spinners doing Could It Be I Fall I'm Falling in Love. I'm hearing one thing about C D four. I don't have the i I'm sure uh, of course I don't have the right Shibata stylus with the separate cartridge. But my Ion TT T USB with the group two cartridge can play C D four records perfectly. I played them in stereo since they are supposedly stereo compatible despite horror stories about that they ruin the inner grooves for But anyway, this is a nice this is a very sweet um Sweet LP, great pop tunes from the 70s. And speaking of pop tunes, we go to RCA with, uh, here we go, JVC, and we have the CD4 Quadra Disc by RCA Special Products. This has a great, great lineup, great music. It's got Nielsen, for all you Nielsen fans. Um, what's that one track? Um, Jump in the Fire, that was a great one. I heard that. Someone on YouTube posted, um, I heard Jumpin' Up Fire is a great, great rock tune. I've tried this on my CD4. It's got some great results, but as, before, as I stated before, with CD4 records, um, you've got to, with your CD4 demodulator, you have to t really practice patience with adjusting. I did hear some good results for discreetness, but as I as stated before, these are... You can play these in stereo. Anyways, back to this track. It's got some classical pieces. Uh, the Friends of Distinction doing Grays in the Grass. Hugin Montenegro doing songs from of Neil Diamond. And it's from and it's got a track from the uh, original cast of Hair doing Aquarius. Got the red label. And it's got the desk the guess who doing music. Musicion, or whatever, however you pronounce it. Yes, yeah, these CD4s can be played as stereo if you want them as two-channel stereo. Now I go to Broadway with the Emmy, with the Tony winning musical The Wiz, featuring Stephanie Mills as Dorothy, the late Ted Ross as the Lion, the late Mabel King as Eveline. And of course we know that this was Produced in 1975 and later became a 1978 musical film with Diana Ross and the late Michael Jackson, Nipsey Russell, Ted Ross, reprising his role as Lion, as a Lion, and Richard Pryor playing the title character of The Wiz, except he doesn't sing anyway. Anyway, this is remix in CD4. It's got some great res. The CD4 mixes are are interesting on this album, but still I play this in stereo. Or as um, pseudo quad and SQ and QS. But I'm sure CD4, with the proper CD4 equipment, the the sounds spectacular. Great stuff by the late Charles Smalls. And two two numbers he didn't write, uh, Tornado by Timothy Graffenreid and Everybody Rejoice, better known as A Brand New Day by the late Luther Vandross. You got the cast here. Great album. I was excited to find this. You can't find CD4 records very often. And I found this recently for one buck. It's Eugene Ormandy and a fantastic Philadelphia Orchestra doing doing Camille Sanson's Organ Symphony Number no. 3 with the Virgil Fox playing the organ. Yeah, this is one of the early releases with uh, CD4. They try to do Columbia. Uh, do, do, I don't have many CD4 records for the reasons. Obviously, I don't have the right equipment. I use these as stereo. And plus, I'm more of an SQ, QS person anyway. 
And this was at a bucket amoeba records down in Hollywood. Now we got the late Tomita doing Mazorski's picture in an exhibition. This is very nice. I played this in CD4 and for, for some reason RCA CD4 records or Quadra does sound be actually sound better and I get better results and satisfaction with RCA than I do other others from the Warner from the Warner labels. It's very nice. Um, Tomita's um performance of this is spectacular. And Danny Davis in the Nashville Brass doing traveling. I heard two of his cuts on an RCA compilation album I had years ago. And two of the cuts are on here. Um, Bluesy gra um, Bluegrass and the Nashville Express. And it's got one called, one track called, um, excuse me, Rocky Top, which I heard on the Country Bear Vacation Hoedown back when I was back in Disneyland. The little C4, little Quadrants logo. This was found in Amoeba again for one dollar. It's nice to find CD4 quad albums and quad albums in general and um for a buck. And we've got Doc Severinsen with the late Henry Mancini, Brass, Ivory, and Strings, meaning. Doc Severinsen, who did the Tonight Show and appeared on Love American Star with the late Beth Howland and Love in the the cover, plays trumpet and Henry Mancini, of course, plays piano. This is a great album. It's got some covers of great songs from the 70s, including Ben, make, Help Him Make It Through the Night, Make It With You by Bread, Without You by Nielsen, and some original, and one original piece that Henry Mancini composed, a theme from Doc. This is really, this is what makes it cool, a nice little gate, mini gatefold. Very cool album. And Elvis Presley, the king himself, and one of his classic, and I guess this is one of the most common CD4 albums, Aloha in Hawaii. Of course, there's of course, the copy I have is in terrible shape, but you know, you know, you can always have time to upgrade. This is a great album, H Aloha from Hawaii. This is supposedly it's in, supposed to be a quadra disc, but it's got stereo. It's listed in stereo. See, it's in poor shape, but there's always room for upgrades. Great stuff. Some of his hits: Burning Love, R Hound Dog. C.C. Ryder, many others. And we go to the Grammy winning Carly Simon doing her doing a quad CD4 remix of her album, her classic album, No Secrets, featuring her number one smash, You're So Vain, The Right Thing to Do, and the in a semi title track We Have No Seek well, No Secrets. Many of the songs were composed by her with the exception of Night Owl by her late husband, I mean, by her ex-husband, pardon me there, James Taylor. See, these were supposed to be in the inner sleeves. There we go. I was so happy to find this on CD4 because I heard, heard a down mix of her CD4 version of Your Soul Bane which sounded good including some stuff that where I think there were outtakes and here's a little demonstration from Electra describing the quadra disc it's funny that they share the same term here's something you're supposed here's how you're supposed to hear CD4 records with the proper equipment and then we've got the stylus the comparisons to the the black Stylus is supposed to be the conventional epileto stylus and the red one is the Shibata stylus which is supposed to get deep in the grooves to hear it better. And a comparison between stereo and the regular stereo and the CD4 Quadra disc. But they stated that the CD4 records are indeed stereo compatible so you can play them in stereo. And here's something interesting. 
the Fisher Test and Performance Standard Disc. It's interesting. One side CD4, and the other side's SQ Matrix. CD4 has got um, the CD4 side has a separated a separation front back separation adjustment track here. You put a Can I zoom in? This is an HD, folks. You know, just channel identification for CD4 and this lock range adjustment. Hey, CD4 may may be great for some people, but it can be a pain when you don't when you don't exactly know what the heck you're doing. You got. Anyway, CD4 has got um, this album has um tracks from the Beatles, from the Beatles, Eleanor Rigby, an exciting version of St. Thomas, the night they drove Old Dixie down, and from the Rodgers and Hammerstein Sound of Music, my favorite things played in the, played in the um style of um. Oh, what's that guy's name? Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass. Now, side two's got. Is the SQ side, which you don't have to worry about CD4 adjustments, just SQ. You can play it as a stereo. And it's got tracks like Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. I noticed this is a 1974 album, so this must be the cover for Elton John's hit. Which of the Lyman by the great Jimmy Webb? When the Saints Go Marching In, an interesting album uh, track on. In SQ, the galloping guitars, you have guitars all over, and the world, what the world needs now is love, sweet love, and before that is, when you begin the be begin the begin begin by the great Cole Porter, very interesting by Fisher, Fisher, yeah Fisher, and that's all the CD fours.